All right, so we're leaving a Teleco place, uh, Teleco Beach Diner right now. Um, food is really good. I would definitely recommend to go there. Um, I ended up getting a BLT, um, but like I said, they had a variety of stuff to get. So, um, all right, let's get going again. So we're gonna take. Uh, the Skyway as soon as we can get out We'll take we're gonna take the Skyway back over to Jump on I can't remember the name of that other road that's over there, but that'll take us to Sweetwater uh, Tennessee, this is definitely a gym right here guys if you're ever out here in Teleco Plains, Tennessee or on the Skyway uh, that place that was uh, one of my viewers had recommended to go there. It's a very awesome place Of course, I should have gotten food prior to uh, Walking down to the beach because that place gets packed quick now look at the water That is so cool Welcome to Teleco Plains <clears throat> And we have to stop up here or slow down. So like what like I said in a couple of weeks we're gonna we're gonna run the whole skyway all the way over to Robinson North Carolina I don't have the time today for it uh, but I figured I'd show you guys uh, just a little bit of it uh, because it is a really pretty area here um, and it takes about an hour and a half to go that that distance so um, one of these days uh, in a couple of weeks we'll get a chance to do that uh, right now I'm off to the next journey so we're gonna go to Sweetwater Tennessee it's actually up the road a little bit and uh, there we go <coughs> for a little bit of the Skyway that I saw that was pretty cool uh, I'm looking forward to actually driving the whole Skyway uh, here in the next couple weeks so upside down elephant oh there's a chair <laughs> I think that's like a shrub and it's like made into a chair. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that at first. So, kind of neat. I wonder if that fire's still. Oh, yeah. I'll go I'll swing by there when when I'm with Gwen tomorrow um, like the gift shop and stuff they had a nice little fire up here just a few minutes ago Coker Creek that's where I hear there's a, there's potential for gold yeah they had a oh they still do Looks like they might be burning some shrubs or something over there. <coughs> so 
right now we're taking Teleco planes of uh, the Tennessee 68 uh, to Sweetwater, Tennessee. can imagine this place during the summer or like late fall like when the leaves are changing I can only imagine the chaoticness through here um, oh man it's it was that was just a little bit I seen and I was kind of like oh my gosh like I this is pretty cool
I feel like I passed that truck earlier in a different, in, um, like outside Maryville, Tennessee, I think. But, I mean, it could be a different truck. So. Sweetwater, Tennessee is the one that has uh, <clears throat> the village or town that actually has the lost sea. So that's the one that has the, it's, it's an attraction that has the sea like in a cavern or something underground. Uh, and I believe it's like the largest lake underground in a nation maybe. Um, and you get to ride on a glass boat uh, or a bottom at least to see the fish uh, swimming around underneath you. Um, we have not done it yet, however, I do want to do it. Um, I think we are waiting till summer when it will be nice and hot out. Uh, and then the cavern will obviously be cool. Um, I don't remember uh, the temperature inside the cavern, but I believe it stays like that all year long. Or all, yeah. So, uh, But once we actually do it, I'll definitely be sure to videotape it so that way you guys can see it again. That attraction is called the Lost Sea. Uh, and it's in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Ha <coughs> 